Mamoncillo, aguacate naranja. Bueno, bonito y barato. Mamoncillo. Mamoncillo. ¡Eh! Hey, ¡Mete newspaper! ¡Qué bola, Sere! ¡Very good! ¡Es un beautiful day! ¿You want some, some Cuban coffee? ¡Ah, va a ahí with the fruit! Ok, maybe later. ¡Hey! ¡Es un good to sell newspaper! ¡You make a lot of money! Maybe I sell newspaper. <laughs> La mona, you know the police. Sometimes they bother me because they say I don't have a license. They say I don't have a license. I don't know why they bother me. I don't know steal, I don't sell drugs, I don't prostitution, nothing like that. <laughs> I'm a businessman, I said it. I only sell mamoncillo aguacate naranja. Sometimes I sell limones, sometimes I sell churro. You know, I work it for me. Yo soy entrepreneur. I like a disc work. Sometimes very hot, bueno. Every time very hot. En Miami. Miami es como Cuba. Un calor de madre. The only problem, the sun. Me pongo negro, así como tú. Pero no problem, no problem, no problem. No problem, porque yo soy negro de corazón. Hacer it. Everybody in Cuba has some black from Africa. Vaya, el que no tiene de Congo, tiene de Carabalí. I spin a web like Charlotte to catch whack MCs uh -huh. that's flooding the market. My candlestick stays eternally lit, sparking it up, no matter how dark it gets. I target heads like feds want an X and Martin. Y'all just sit back, a revolution starting in the soul. So just empty out your bowl as we take the higher road and fill it up with fruits now. Before trees were used for lynching This cup was more robbed than uh -huh. a sushi kitchen Predetermined, predestined mission The name is Brimstone with black thought in question uh. Molesting the industry with the righteous decree To speak what I see, you hear me not The time we got on the clock ain't a lot Look around, can't you see things falling apart? You know, as far as teaching or whatever I was a little skeptical of that Because I don't, I don't do that much of that And I mean, I had done it before But my initial reaction was just like Yeah, I could do that I mean, I wasn't, you know, as thrilled initially about it And when I got going with it, it got a lot more exciting, you know. I didn't um, proactively have to like teach them, it was more of just like letting them do their thing and then showing them the easiest way to get where they're going or, or kind of like, it was more of a directing than teaching and, and you know, I, I did show them a few examples and give them some, you know, understanding of um, the fundamentals of it, but I let them, you know, kind of go on their own and just there to assist, really. It has to stay fun, it's a balance, you know. It, you can't, I get really serious about it and it's no fun anymore and then it just starts to lose the intensity, but I, I'm having fun. So it's a multiple, like, there's multiple facets to keeping the, the motivation, but it has to be fun and you have to work hard. I'm with it. Then go ahead. Sometimes I find my mind confined to a cell And the only place I dwell is my own inner shell Pray tell we all stay well Through earthquake, windstorm, fire and hell At last, brimstone reigns supreme Like burritos from Taco Bell Spent many nights feeding my life on things that ain't right But by twilight, you best believe it'll be alright Fight fire with water, shower in Hate with love, but when push comes to shove The almighty up above intervening The final decision with precision Allowing my vision to view life From the position of a bald eagle I married hip-hop like a steep People, are you ready for the close encounters of this kind? Masters of the ceremony, stand true to the rhyme. When I bring my, my DJ set up, I tell the kids, I don't want you bringing any of your music from home. You could do that all day while you're at home. Go through my crates. Go find something new that you like. Because I guarantee you what you find is going to be something that somebody's sampling right now that's a hit record. Don't just say, oh, that sounds old. No, really listen to it. Break it down. Learn the foundation. Apply the foundation. Watch how strong what you build is gonna be. You know, when I felt like when I first heard my record on the radio, man, I was, that's me, that's me. And, and when I go to the airport still today, when I go to MIA, or if I go to Fort Lauderdale Airport, they look at me and they say, I respect you for what you've done for rap. The new rappers today don't do that. They look at me like I'm nobody. It goes from Lil Wayne to all of them. But I look at them, and I say, you don't even understand. They don't understand. That's why I'm not mad. 
I, I look at these guys now, it's like, they're not having fun. You ask me, they're not having fun. They might, to them, they might think they're having fun as far as all the money they're seeing, but if you can't be in the same building at the same time or you got beef with somebody that ain't even done nothing to you because maybe you don't like the style of his rap or maybe you don't like how his attitude is, but um, it's about love, man. It's about We did it before money. Before money, we did it in the parks for free. And, and that's why we got a, a different look on it. When you're getting into something, study it. Learn where it comes from. Learn about the history. Because I could tell you about Earth, Wind & Fire. I could tell you about Billy Joe. I could tell you about Chicago. I could tell you about Joe Tex, James Brown. But they can't even talk about us. And they in our game. This is our game when we started. I said, you can never take this from me. I got stock in this game. I got stock. I'm like a Wall Street broker and still getting paid. They need to talk to me to get the inside trade, right? So, so I'm blessed, I'm blessed, man. It's all about um, battling. People will battle for, on this block you live at. They battle the next block. Uh, who, who got the better, back in those days, they was like, who got the best sound system? A lot of them will bring their sound system up. One will put the sound system on this side of the park. Another one will put it on the other side of the park. This kept us together. This brought, I mean, a word of mouth. It was no flyers given out. It was a word of mouth and the music that you heard from down the street and you walked to the park just to listen to that music half of the day. And that's what brought us together, man. It was like love. I see hip hop coming back. It may not come back to, this, to its full potential as we wanted to, but the hip hop will come back. And when I say it, it will come back, the lyrics will come back, the, the contents will come back, the chorus will come back. I, I think, you know, some of these kids will, will follow what, what, with what they hear right now, but then again, they're probably gonna follow their heart, which is, you know, what speaks more, you know what I mean? So if, if they understand that, you know, we need more hip hop into our music, we need more lyrics, we need more choruses, we need more catchy hit records, then, you know, they're gonna understand that that's what's gonna give them, you know, longevity of getting paid and, and, and being a legend in the game and a pioneer, like Brimstone. <laughs> and look into my eyes and tell me what you see. You see a real DJ, a real DJ, all right? Learn how to scratch, mix, and blend, and then come talk to me. Most of the kids that, that are participating in this program don't have a lot of opportunities and resources and they go to schools that aren't considered the best schools. So one of the things that we hope that they get out of it is first of all a, a passion for learning about something they're interested in. They're learning marketable skills in this program. I mean every one of these, these tracks have really an opportunity for you know going and doing these things for a living. The new technology isn't going to make you good. Like, someone could go out and buy the Serato and all that and get a music library and pretty much have all the tools they need to be really good and still be whack, you know? Because they just never went through the motions of learning DJ and they never paid the dues, they never played records before, they never, they don't know the science behind it, the beats and bars and how the music's made, you know? So the machine will only do so much for you. You know, all of us, we, we pay the dues going to the record stores every day, you know, a couple times a week, spending all our lunch money on records, you know? And nowadays, someone would be like, all right, well, I want a DJ and they'll just buy a music library from someone. Now you can have someone who's been DJing for like a year, seeing him and you'd be like, man, he's killing it. It's like, you've only been DJing for a year? <laughs> you know, back in the day, if someone was really good, you knew that they've been DJing for a long time. A hip hop summer camp is like, you know, really tight. You know, it's like just the whole idea of like, you know, kids really learning hip hop from people that have, you know, spent years and years doing this, like learning the right way. It's just good to see, you know, it feels good.
Yeah.